Creatures of the Night. Uh, I wrote this song oh, when I was suffering with really bad insomnia, so oh, I'd be awake really, really, really late in the mornings. Um, I'm almost watching sunrise, so... But I thought, I didn't really mind it. I, I actually enjoyed it, and I was always alone because I lived in my own apartment. Um, but this song is really a celebration of people that were just like me that didn't actually mind being alone or even not being able to sleep, really. I wanted this song to open my album because I actually can't uh, open it at a live gig because it's so hard to sing. So I thought it'd be kind of funny to put it first on the album. So yeah. House of Cards. Uh, the lyrical idea for this song actually came from the day I broke up with my ex-boyfriend. Um, for some reason I'd avoided using the snippet for so long and one day I just decided, you know, why not? But I think I avoided it because all their breakup songs are fine to sing about, but this one was tougher because it's not a fun memory to recall the actual day of breaking up with someone, so I avoided it. But um, the day came where I used it and it became a single, it made the cut. One of my favourite things about this track is the fact that it gets more and more impersonal as it goes on. It starts off with Dear Love and ends on Hey Boy. Um, I also enjoy the fact that the lyrics are actually quite dark, but the melody is so uplifting and happy and clappy that it kind of masks the fact that the song is actually really emotional. Hide and Seek. Uh, this actually came from the first song I'd ever written when I was around six years old. Uh, I think my favourite part about this song is, is the playfulness, the childlike playfulness, but also entwined in there is um, this very serious uh, metaphor for unrequited love. I like the fact that the song doesn't tell you that because someone doesn't like you that you should, you should chase them anyway and it doesn't make you feel bad about it. It, it tells you that it's fine, and you should just give up and just be yourself because if someone doesn't want you, then they're not worth your time. I remember writing Lifeboat because I invited a writer around to my house and because I got so deep into these lyrics, I actually somehow managed not to feed him for the whole day. This song is to remind people that they're not broken and though some of us are slightly damaged, that we don't need to be fixed. And although times in life can be really tough and really hard to work through, that we don't necessarily need help, that we can all we can do it on our own and we can teach ourselves how to swim and get through it. And though that's a tough thing to do, that some people actually want to and they don't want to be fixed. Because Things We Lost in the Fire is such a personal and emotional song, um, my, my producers came up with this really great idea that um, in the vocal booth that I would, I would stare at the wall and imagine that my ex-boyfriend was there and that I actually had to sing the song to him. Um, so you can imagine that that was quite the emotional experience. And it, in that situation where your voice is actually being recorded and, and trying to not cry at the same time, it was quite hard to, to sing through it, but I think it paid off. The song Wonderful was actually my first single. Um, and I had, I had this great privilege of working with Newton Faulkner on it, um, which he actually taught me how to write a happy song. I'd never written one in my life before. He taught me that pretty much it was okay to write one. Um, the song itself is about the idea of, of falling in love and allowing yourself to almost let your walls come down and that you do have to be vulnerable to, to fall in love. Although I am not guaranteeing that it is gonna be wonderful, hence why I'm saying it could be and not that it will be. The song Delicate is a really hard one to discuss really because it comes from an actual story of mine um, and I don't want to really want to throw this guy under the bus for this story so it's a bit too personal to talk about lyrically. Although within the music there's a lot of things that I do enjoy. I enjoy the massive crowd chant at the end. It's great to perform live because everyone gets involved in singing back with it and, and you feel like even though they don't know what the song is actually about that they, they feel like they relate to it in some way and hopefully that they do. The Cures for I Am In Love was something that I didn't expect to actually be on the album because I never anticipated to actually put a cover on it. Um, but I mean, it's a great song and everybody loves The Cure and I thought I could put my own spin on this kind of song. 
um, obviously with the mandolin and um, the cello and everything. So I thought, why not give it a shot? When you were mine, uh, was actually a Cross the Water co-write. Um, I still haven't even met the writers of it yet, so that was that was a first for me because normally I'm always in the room with the people that I write with. I think the whole vibe of this track is something that I never thought I would do either. It's almost crossing into the dance world, but because it's so atmospheric and it relates, I think the music actually relates to the lyrics very well and it puts you in the headspace that I think you should be in when you listen to it. Whiskey Lullabies is actually my favourite song off the whole album. Um, and what, what I like about it is, is not only that the lyrics are really personal, they're actually so personal that I wasn't going to let myself write it in the first place, but I'm really glad that I did. Um, what I like about the actual production of this track is, is the little music box at the start, because I obviously talk about childhood in it, and what's a better thing than having a little music box in there to remind you of your childhood? Because the music box actually stops and you can hear it shut, is the reason why I chose it for the, the last song in the album because, I mean, it's a great way to end it. Obviously, if the music box is ending, why not let the album end on that as well? <laughs> 